This is AEDT 1120U, Foundations of Digital Teaching and Learning Technologies. Title of this vid clip is as follows, Web 2.0, Social Networking. The analysis questions are, number one, how does the Desjardins Interaction Model, 2009, characterize Web 2.0? Number two, how does Spivak's MetaWeb Model characterize social software? And number three, compare and contrast the two models with respect to Web 2.0. The HCHI model, Desjardins 2001-2005, is being used in this course as it outlines the major technological competencies that will be explored throughout the course. According to the Desjardins Interaction Model, Desjardins 2009, Web 2.0 technologies lie at the intersection of the technical, the social, and the informational orders. Consequently, Competencies which are required for each of these orders should be required to, in order to work in a proficient manner with technologies that have affordances of this nature. For example, in order to make use of Facebook, a user would need to be able to manipulate a mouse, uh, among other things, a keyboard, know where picture files are stored on his or her machine, and know how to upload these into a browser-based site. These are all technical competencies. The user would need to know how to make friends, which is a social competency, and how to pass information, that is an informational competency, along to these friends. Making use of the chat feature, which is both social and informational, email, again social and informational, and making use of games such as Farmville, which is technical, social, and information, informational, would require additional competencies. I'll let you contemplate how Twitter could be characterized using this typology. The graphic on the screen illustrates the intersection of these three orders. Notice that the epistemological competencies are excluded as there are no requirements to have a computer process or transform the data into forms other than those in which it was originally found. In other words, there is no requirement explicitly re referencing the epistemological order. This slide presents a slightly different way of looking at a related scenario. Nova Spivak, on his blog, Minding the Planet, and the URL is given at the bottom of the graph, he suggested that Internet technologies can be categorized using two dimensions, the degree of information connectivity and the degree of social connectivity. This typology becomes a conjecture that we will explore over this week and next. Wikipedia, on the Web 2.0 page, characterizes Web 2.0 as sites that employ a new conception that is compared to the Web 1.0 of the Internet, allowing user interaction, giving the user opportunities to create content, as well as to participate in a virtual community. Note that almost by definition, Web 2.0 implies that the use of a browser uh, to access the services that are available. Other key features, according to uh, Wikipedia, of Web 2.0 include, number one, a folksonomy, that is a free classification of information, number two, rich user information, number three, user as contributor, number four, a long tail, an economic uh, reference that talks about a far wider array of goods is available through web-based retailers, which puts pressure, pressure on bricks and mortar establishments. The implications here in terms of online uh, for education are in terms of online courses um, and uh, the implication about what's what that's going to do with schools and open educational resources. So the availability of these kinds of resources as compared to traditional publishing. Number five, user participation. Number six, basic trust that is relying on the participation of all while resisting the temptation to exclude trollers and free riders. And number seven, dispersion. The right and responsibility to build the web is dependent upon many, not the few. Uh, Spivak's model reflects this by suggesting that social software could be characterized by a low degree of information connectivity, that is, information is generally not related to other information from other sites, and a high degree of social connectivity since social software implies that the user is using the software primarily to communicate with others. Explore the types of technologies that Spivak places into this quadrant. 
The theoretical considerations for this vid clip are as follows. Uh, please see pages 17 through 49 in the Mike Evans presentation document found at the URL on the slide. Please be aware that this document is primarily an analysis that was conducted from and for a business perspective. While it has limited value in an education context, it will help to understand the ideas that are implicit when looking at the development of the World Wide Web and the Internet. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Now I've got two number ones, but uh, the rest follow in order. Number one, how ought technologies that fit within this quadrant category be used in conjunction with the education of adult learners? Number two, why might the SPIVAC characterization of low information connectivity be flawed when looking at social software quadrant? Number three, when considering issues related to PBL and developing higher order thinking skills, what types of affordances would you look for in a social networking site if you were to make use of it in your own classroom, for, for instance? Does the existence of these affordances within the chosen site ensure that they will be used by learners to develop higher order thinking skills? Why or why not? Number four, what makes some sites, such as Facebook perhaps, not particularly useful from an educational perspective? And that brings us to the end of the synthesis questions for this vid clip. Yeah.